Hey guys, this is Easy Creation, uh, and today I want to test the uh, noise level from uh, the DF20, which is the double fan, fans 20, 20 millimeters, the DF25, which is the higher model, the bigger model, sorry, and the Haber kit. Uh, to do so, I will be using a brand new battery, Duracell, uh, Pro Duracell, which is the best one we recommend to use for uh, the fans kit. And I will be using the battery provided with the Haber kit. To measure the noise, I will be using the app on the iPhone that you can see there. Uh, you can see the noodle, needle moving as, uh, as I speak. Alrighty? So, first thing first, we're going to test that the battery is indeed a brand new battery. 10 volt, perfect. Uh, let's start with the DF20. Very easy. Pop the back in. Put the battery in. Push it in. Up. It's hard to do with one hand. Close it. Alright. So I hope you can see. I'm going to switch it on. Two fans are working. Okay, so we had roughly between uh, 40, 50, 60 and 70 decibel. Alright, that was for the DF20 from Fan. This is the one we make, but you can get it on a website that is pointed right there. The second one will be our old kit, which was the, the uh, DF25. Just to give you an idea, it's a little bigger. But a little bigger is a learn the statement and uh, the reason why we made this one is that it fits everything this one was a, a first generation of fans they're still excellent fans uh, they provide excellent airflow for uh, the size they just uh, the real difference is that there are 12 volt fans and uh, under powered by a 9 volt battery which is why they're so quiet while these fans the fans 20 are 9 volt fans uh, made specifically for us no one makes them in the world except uh, this one all right we check if they work yep working and time to chrono to measure the sound all right switch it off we had about 80 decibel there Assuming it's a decibel. This was a free app on the iPhone. I figured out why pay if I can get something free. So Fans 20 was uh, 60, 70. Fans 25 was uh, 80, roughly 70, 80. All right, and this was for a double fan. So now let's try the Abacit. Abacit is a, uh, it's called the Eliminator. It's a great company. We don't make these kits, we just retail them. Uh, the big difference between the Abacit and the Fans kit is uh, the self-contained unit which can fit in most of the masks although sometimes they're very uh, somewhat tricky to install um, to install the mask it's easy you unplug this and that it's fairly uh, simple the real difference is uh, probably the sensor they have here red means off yellow means it's uh, on sensor and uh, green means that it's on all the time um, made in china well everything is made in china nowadays so to pop up the cover, yep, you open it like this. Oh, they've just added, I've just noticed they added this little back at the part so it keeps it in place. Put the battery in. I, uh, I assume it's a brand new battery. It was in the package. Up oh, and close it. And that's it. So the fan, uh, the Aber technology uh, is different from ours because they have basically a sensor here that will grab the humidity level in the fan in the mask and depending on a certain level which is probably the uh, fogging level a fan will suck the moisture out and out of your mask okay so it'll be basically sitting like this sucking it out or sucking it out here most likely yeah 
and uh, coming out of your mask. This will be sitting inside your mask, okay? So, to turn it on full, this is on sensor. Obviously, it's not going on right now because, uh, well, there's no humidity level high enough. But you can have it on all the time. This is it on all the time. Okay? I'm just going to measure the noise. I'm trying to find where the fan is. Uh, the fan is... Uh, I assume the fan is here. So there's the fan, the noise level. So interestingly enough, oh, about seven. Switch it off. Interestingly enough, the uh, the noise level was roughly around seventy, or a little bit above, a little bit below. Um, but funny enough, the noise—I don't know if you can get it on the camera—but the noise is very unique from the uh, DF20 compared to the, the fan skin. I'm just going to try to put them side by side for you guys to uh, hopefully get the difference. Um, and keep in mind that this is only one fan working on at the same level as two fan here pushing the air down. So I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a small hum, very, mi very minimal. Okay. And this one now. Hmm. Um, I'm trying, I don't know, maybe you can hear it, I hope so, if not, uh, it's very unique, it's a very high pitch fan noise. Um, the good news with the Habakit is that because of the sensor, it only works when it needed. Uh, however, it's only one fan, so the feedback we've had so far is pretty good. Except if it's really, is if you're really humid and you're sweating like a uh, maniac, you one fan might not be enough, uh, or you might have to turn it on all the time. I know for sure as a player, having this all the time would drive me nuts. Um, it's a high pitch, which I really dislike. But if it does the job, I can suck it up for a couple of seconds on the sensor, I assume. All right. This, the R fans kit, is not, it's not that it's better, to be honest with you, it's a different system. Ours will push the air down, I can really feel the air flow under, um, which is really what we want. You want to have the air, well, that's how we feel that you want the air flow by uh, experience as a player. I've been using this kit for, uh, I don't know, over six, seven years now, since we made them. Um, there is a noise made, uh, don't be fooled, our kit is not deadly silent, it's super silent. But it's a, it's a heavier noise, it's like a background noise, you can't hear it that bad. Um, the only drawback I could see of her fan is that if put on a mask, because it spins harder than this one, uh, the vibration mic makes a little more noise on the mask, but not that much. The airflow is gigantic compared to the, uh, to the Abra kit. Um, and I like both kits, to be honest with you. Uh, I've used them both. Uh, I find it easier for my fan's kit to be switched on and off rather than change his battery because once you install this kit inside your mask, you have to basically, to remove the battery is a pain. You have to remove this part, which is easy to do now, but pretend it inside your mask, it's not that easy to do. However, installing it, removing it is fairly simple because of the uh, upper mechanism. Alright guys, so as a summary, just to give you an idea, um, Haber kit was around 70, DF20 was around 70 with two fans versus one fan, uh, high pitch noise, bass noise, and the DF25 was about uh, probably 80, a little louder, bigger airflow, bigger fans, 
So, you know, you can have a, a good airflow without some noise. All right, I hope that was helpful. This was provided to you by uh, fans at easycreation.ca. Feel free to contact me for uh, any question or testing. I know some of you were asking about the Vortex. We don't have it. Uh, I've heard it on the field. It's insanely loud. Uh, I don't even understand why players would, would wear it. But I guess if it does the job at the end, that's what matters. Um, for us, we recommend this. We made it. We're players, and we love it. Thank you.